Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. <laughs> Say hello then. Hello. Say hi guys, welcome to my virgin hi, kitchen. Hi, welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today we are making... Dinner. Today I am making dinner and Phoebe is about to go to bed. Ew. Have you got anything you want to say? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's not Christmas anymore. Say something else. Santa Claus already been. He has already been. Good girl. Right. This is a video for the vegetarians out there. Can you say vegetarians? Vegetarians. Vegetarians. We're doing a very quick vegetable Ter burger. Terrence is in Tinkerbell. What? Terrence is in Tinkerbell. Ter Terrence is in Tinkerbell. That's yeah. really important right now. I'm about to make vegetarian burgers. We have some sweet potato chips alongside it. You're gonna absolutely love this. A little bit of salad as well. It's gonna be cheeky, quicky, quicky, cheeky, quicky. What are you doing? Cheeky, quicky. Cheeky, quicky. Does that even exist? Quicky. We just invented a word. Cheeky, High five. Quickie. All right. You're gonna love this. Let's just get on. I've got to put it to bed, and then we're just gonna make this, and you're gonna love it. Did I say that? you're gonna love it? I think you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're not gonna love it. Okay, my fellow internet chums, now Phoebe is in bed, let's get on and make this recipe. It is so quick. If you're just making the burgers only, they cook literally in five or six minutes. Um, the sweet potato chips are the thing that's gonna hold up this recipe. They take around about half an hour, okay? So these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. I want you to just hit pause now on the video and write them all down. We're going for the vegetarian feel on this recipe, okay? It's completely vegetarian. I got loads of requests to make vegetarian dishes, and here we go. All the vegetarian dishes I've made, in fact, wow, I've said vegetarian a lot in this scene. Sorry about that. All the ones I've made have actually been really, really good. But I'm never going to convert. I love cows, but don't get me wrong, I can't bit a bit of beef every now and then. I do like a bit of beef. Sorry, vegetarians. But, you know, all the vegetarian stuff, I, I understand why you do it, and uh, it will make this good for you, okay? I promise. So here we go. We've got some kidney beans, some salsa, some yogurt, some chopped coriander, a little bit of barbecue seasoning there. We're going to have a little sort of a barbecue spank. Uh, to these vegetarian burgers. You know, you could use chili powder if you want, some curry powder, even if you want to be a bit bland, like salt and pepper, that's cool, or more herbs, anything you want. I've got some tomato, which I'm just gonna slice up to add to the burger at the end, you know, to add it a little bit more chunky. Chuck some salad in with that as well. I've got some lemon and lime halves, gonna get the juice out of that, some wholemeal bread, sweet potatoes for the sweet potato chips. Now with the sweet potato chips, we're not just gonna like, just cook them on their own. They do take half an hour, as I said. We're gonna dress them in some olive oil, also some soy sauce and a little bit of oregano to give it a cheeky kick, okay? So that's all gonna go in together, shove it in the oven, do its thing, get that on straight away. Um, I've made the breadcrumbs naturally as well. There was 50 grams of bread in there and I've just gone like that, easy peasy, breadcrumbs, and that's it. So let's get on. We're gonna scrape our sweet potatoes, dress them in the soy sauce, olive oil, oregano, in the oven, have a little rest, and then uh, make the burgers. Right here then folks, sweet potatoes, you've seen me do this before. In fact, the very last video I did, we did some sweet potato, mashed potato with some spring onions and a little bit of butter and oh my goodness, it was good. So all we're gonna do is give it a little scrape, get the skin off, wow, I know you did it upside down then, just take it off like so, give them the skin and then we're just gonna hack into them, cut them up into any funky shapes you like. Make them into wedges shape, chip shapes, if you wanna be all strict and straight and stuff like that. Anything you want, baby, I love you. Okay then guys, so I've actually shaven my sweet potatoes like so, and uh, this one here, I've actually started chopping it up. As you know, I've got a little fear of them. Uh, this one had one heck of a kink in it, so I had to just destroy it straight away. But I'm literally just cutting it in random shapes like this to get sort of funky triangular sort of wedge shapes. It's completely up to you. If you want to be, you know, proper hardcore, you can cut the sweet potato into actual chip shapes. But I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to use all my sweet potato, baby. I'm just going to cut away at it like this. Okay, so cut it all up once you're happy with it. Right here then guys, I just want to show you, I've put the sweet potatoes in there like so, they cut fairly into the same sort of size. If you have one that's too big, you know, you can mix it up a little bit, but if you have one that's too big and one that's absolutely teeny, it's not going to cook at the same time, is it? Think about that. Think about that right now. Okay, that's good. Right, so, we're going to get that now, and we're going to add in our olive oil like so, around about a tablespoon on there. You want to get it nice and drenched. And that's also going to act as a little bit of a glue for our oregano, okay? So if we get that on there as well around about, well maybe about two teaspoons of that on there. And this is some soy sauce, just sort of just over a tablespoon of that. Not too much, not too little. Just scour it over there. It's gonna give it a sort of kinky, salty flavor with a sort of oriental feel. So just, if you want it, get your hands in there or a wooden spoon. I'm hardcore, I'm gonna use my hands. Let's just get it all nice and coated, like so. Make sure that oregano is well and truly spread over. Oh my goodness. 
Okay guys, the chips are gonna take at least half an hour. I want you to spin it around halfway through and I want you to look at these. Can you see how well they're coated on there? Looking glossy and funky. Kind of like a load of sweet potatoes in a bus on the way to the beach. Like that, covered in suntan lotion and oregano. Okay, anyhow. Good news is, after this bit, we get to have a little bit of a break. So get your sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna put them on the middle shelf, just to give it a bit more control. If you need that blast at the end, top shelf it. Shut them in there. Give yourself five or 10 minutes to rest and then we'll make the burgers. Okay, so before we get our swerve on and make these burgers, I've got three old school friends, Richard Cook, Gary Higgins, and Ben Milsom, that have asked me to come up with a food challenge for them. Um, obviously, I'll film it, but um, you know, anything sort of goes on this cooking show. Is this a cooking show? I guess it kind of is a cooking show, right? Um, you know, we did the epic pizza, the three layered pizza, and we did the McDonald's challenges. Uh, you guys kind of love that stuff, so um, I'm wanting you to tell me what I should get them to do, and I will film it. So uh, leave a comment below, and uh, I'll put it to them, and we'll film it very, very soon. But anyhow, let's make these burgers healthy. Healthy, healthy burgers, yes. Right, so to make the burgers, first of all, grab yourself a bowl, like so, and here is my tin of kidney beans. Just pour those in like that. 400 gram tin there. I'll try to get as much juice as I can out. Ooh, there's some at the top. There we go, that'll do. Now grab yourself a potato masher, like so, and just start to squish them. Can you see them coming out? Are there little white bits there, jumping out? You wanna mash that completely up. Okay, so that's nice and mashed up. As you can see, there's a teeny bit of fluid there, but I wanna add a little bit more. So I'm actually gonna grab myself one egg like that, the yolk and the white. We're just gonna stir that through. Let me grab a wooden spoon, just mix that in like that. That's gonna help it hold even better. Amazing. Now grab half of your coriander, just shove that in like that. Give it a stir around. You can also add salt and pepper whenever you like, but I've got that funky barbecue seasoning, which I'm happy with, which is right here. Let's go for that. Cha -cha. Stir that through. Now we add our breadcrumbs. Pour those all in there. The good thing is, if you add your breadcrumbs last, you can stir this all through. Once you get that consistency you're after, you're gonna be happy with it, but you can always add more breadcrumbs. As you can see, this is starting to hug all together. That is what we're after. We need to add a little bit of a citrus spank in here now. So if we get our lemons and limes as well. Okay, so I've got half a lemon here. I'm just gonna give that a little squeeze there. Just under half of the juice in there. And then also with the lime, not too much. Wicked, that's cool. I hope it didn't squirt anything on the lens. So that's all sat in there like so. Stir it round. It probably doesn't look too appealing right now. Bond it all together. Add as much or as little as the herbs and the flavours as you like. And we're nearly ready to go. Okay folks, just to show you, I've added in another 50 grams of the breadcrumbs and this is the texture you're after. So it's still quite moist. Can you hear how moist that is? Can you hear that? It's almost like sort of tunery texture, but you can still grip it, and that is what you're after. I'm gonna get myself a little chopping board like that and start to make burger shapes with it. My hands are actually quite wet now as they are, so let me just show you. I'm just gonna grab a little chunk like that. I should be able to make around about four burgers. Kind of make a patty shape. I guess you could make meatballs as well. Just enough there, plonk it down, and that's one done. So just make your burgers along there, any shape you like. Yeah. Okay then guys, here we go. I've got four funky patties there. Not too big, not too small, and they're perfect for my buns. That's a bit rude, but they're perfect for my buns. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge just to hold their shape. Um, but if you wanted to store them now, this is the point where you can wrap them in some cling film, keep them in the freezer. So these are gonna go in the fridge. I'm gonna work on our little dressing. The sweet potatoes are looking good. I've just shook them up a little bit. It's all cooking well, baby. Okay, let's make the dressing. As you can see here, I've got my buns, which I've just sort of halved there, all good. Four buns ready, a little bit of lemon and lime there, coriander to the side. Let's get the bowl in here. Cha -ching. here comes the bowl. Yogurt, 150 mils tub, so around about half of that. That's about 75 mils right there, about half a tub. Good thing about this is if you're making more buns, you just add more ingredients. You know, it's simple like any other recipe. In fact, that was a really th silly thing to say. I'm just gonna carry on. I'm gonna add some salsa in there, around about 100 grams, red and white action right there. Oh my goodness. You can get chunky salsa as well if you want, or make your own. Here goes the coriander in there too, like so. Drop that in. Again, lemon and lime, so squeeze of one half. Not all of it, just one squeeze, and another squeeze of the lime as well, all good. A little bit of the pepper meal, and that goes. In fact, Seanio decided to call this the red ball crusher, so there we go, that's all in there. And we need to stir this all around together. Let me grab a spoon, a spatula, that will do. Stir that all around. Da -da 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 Add everything you want to this. Some more seasoning, some sugar if you want to spice it up, some honey, some jam, anything you want. That is looking pink and scary. Okay guys, so kind of what we've done here is like a poor man's version of burger mayonnaise. You know if you get ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together, it makes that sort of pink stuff that they have. In fact, you can buy burger mayonnaise in shops. Don't do that, just mix ketchup and mayonnaise. But this is salsa and yogurt mixed together, as you've seen me do. It's like a poor man's version, but it's got one heck of a zing. And it tastes really good. Zap, 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 like that. Yeah. 
Right here then, let's bring this recipe to a close. I've just got the patties out of the fridge and they look like chocolate chip cookies, but I promise you they're not. They are veggie burgers, my friends, and they're gonna taste darn good. We've got ourselves a pan there. I'm gonna dry fry it. It's on a flame there. There's no oil in the pan. We're just gonna cook them. It's gonna be rapido. The sweet potatoes are smelling amazing. They look so good. You know, real natural sweetness is coming out. Oh my gosh, right there, that is gonna be good. Uh, we have got ourselves the buns, which I spread the sauce on. So the bottoms and the tops have all got a little bit on there. And we're gonna just gonna pat it out a little bit with some salad and some tomatoes. So I've given a bag of salad a little bit of wash. So we're gonna put some salad on there, the burger, some sliced tomatoes. Now if we've got any ever leftover salad, I might just fill around the plate as well to make it look good. So let's just get on, cook these patties. And go for it. Okay, folks, I've literally just flipped it after only one minute, and I don't know if you can see, look how sort of brown that's starting to go on that bottom edge. So be very careful, it will cook quickly, okay? So I flipped it one minute there, I'm flipping the other side, and I'll probably flip them again, just to make sure, till I'm happy. You don't want them burnt, but you want them sort of nice and golden brown, it's just gonna crisp when you bite into it. You're gonna love it right now. Everything else is ready to go. Just got the sweet potatoes out, burger tastic. Okay, I've done my last flip, so it's going to be on there for one more minute, and you can see the golden brown topping on there like that. Look at it. I'm loving it. It's all holding together. I was really worried it was just going to go, but it hasn't. It's all good. So we're going to take them off the heat any minute now, stack them in our burgers with the salad and tomatoes, alongside the sweet potatoes. This is going to be good. I'm excited about this one. Okay guys, I've got my plate there, you know what this means, but I just want to quickly show you, the burgers are all done there, look at that, the closest thing I've ever made to those before, probably bubble and squeak, and here are my wedges, Arrgh, don't you just want to eat them right there? Right, let's make the burger first. Okay, so we'll grab ourselves one of our bases already with the sauce on there, lush. Okay, a little bit of salad on there, yeah, don't have to be too pretty with it, just stick it on there. Now we got our burger on, okay, I'm going to use my hands, it has cooled down sufficiently, just sit that on top like that. Let's get some tomato. Just dress some tomato on there. Obviously, if you've had some more of the sauce, you could dribble that on there as well. But don't worry, we put some on our lid like this. If we just sit it on the top, cha chung that is our veggie burger done. So let's put another one there, get some wedges around the side, and why not a little bit more salad? Let's go for it. There we go then, guys. So added the wedges, another burger, cha ching that is looking big. Little pile of salad. Want to get a teeny bit of lemon juice on top there to give it that citrus thing. And that is fit for a vegetarian, a meat eater, anyone, my friends. Let's eat it and see what we think of it. Can't wait to try this. Right here then guys, I'm just gonna take a massive bite into one of these burgers. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna go for it. In fact, I'm gonna shove a wedge right in the burger as well, because I'm messy like this. And if you're wondering why I didn't toast the buns, I don't like toasted burger buns, but that's what I do. You can toast them if you want, up to you. Let's go for it. Oh wow. There is a real citrus kick in there. I'm loving that. Oh my gosh, I might actually turn vegetarian. Loving, loving, loving this. And the wedge in there as well, I think gave it a little cheeky kick too. I won't take another bite, I won't give you that satisfaction, but if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Pretty impressive, huh? Have a go for yourself, put your own twist on it, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. I love you, quite a bit.